Okay, so I'd like to do an acoustic tuning test of these new Henderson pipes. So um, first of all, I'm going to turn the fan off. Um, quick story behind it. So I discovered a couple more great opera singers in the process. So I discovered um, 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 I discovered another opera singer. Um, her name is uh, Joyce Di Donato, and um, she's a really amazing. She's basically the American version of. I don't know if I ever told you about Cecilia Bartoli, but Cecilia Bartoli is an even better opera singer than Laura Bertan, even. <laughs> and um, anyway, so Cecilia Bartoli, um, Joyce Di Donato is. The, basically the American Cecilia Bartoli and um, the private voice instructor at Alma was talking with me after one of those library recitals and I was saying like hey I want to hear one of the best you know, if you want to hear one of the best what I consider the best singing voice ever you know just stick around and that's when I showed everybody um, Laura Breton uh, I'm going to close the window because these are wood pipes and I don't want to risk them cracking so um, I was saying, like, you know, if you want to hear what I think is the best singing voice ever, you know, just listen to, uh, Laura Breton, and, um, stupid, um, sorry, um, I was gonna say, if you want to hear, like, if you want to hear the best voice, and Barbara was saying, like, well, Laura Breton's a little bit tense, and, like, I was talking to her about, you know, my favorite opera singers, obviously, like Cecilia Bartoli. And, uh, you know, people like that. I want to make sure the volume's up. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is, um, with the um, current uh, drone reads I'm using, I'm going to do an acoustic tuning test of the Hendersons, and um, fortunately, it doesn't require me to actually play them, which is good because you know if they're wood pipes, you know. All right, so just trying to find a normal, a reasonable spot on the tuning pins. I'm going to unplug the bottom of the, the base. See, that's the thing about unthreaded reed seats. You have to have the exact amount of hemp, and I cannot do that. Someone teach me how to fucking hemp. Unless Drew brings his reed seat, drone reed seat threader. All right. Oh, crap. All right, so kind of difficult to do this with one hand here. So with an open reed, the bass. And then with a closed, uh, with the reed, with the drone reed closed, the harmonics of the bass reed. So popping it first.
and then tapping the reed. Okay, that's it for the bass reed, or the bass uh, drone I should say. I think what I'm going to do is uh, put the rubber sleeve originally on the easy drone um, on this Kinnert bass because I just, I just have a problem with hemping and you know. It's just like OMG. Okay, so now for a tenor. If I can find the stock here, or sorry, the Tenor top, okay. Oh crap. See, that's why I don't like drone chords. Okay, there we go. And this is going to be right on the hemp line here. Crap! Okay. Why do I keep bumping into it? Okay. So... with the um, reed open. And then popping it with the reed closed. Okay, and then we'll take out the tuning screw.
Okay, and then, um, I believe how Steve said it. And then turning the screw back. Okay. Now I think what I'm going to do is um see if see if I can take the sleeve of the easy drone base and Excuse me. And uh, put that on the canard. So, first let me find it, which is going to take years. Oh, exaggerating, but. Canning, canning, kinnard, kinnard, kinnard base. Let me count one, two, three, four. Tenor, 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 and one base. Um, I must have put it in a different case then. The uh, easy, I must have put the easy drawings in a different case. And I'm gonna look, I'll look there to see. Ah, there are my other cannings, so. Good, we found those. I don't know if I can even cut the sleeve off. It's it's so tight on there. Plus, I recently trimmed my fingernails, so it's not going to be that easy. Easy. <laughs> Get it. Oh, crap. Well, you know, on the original Henderson blowpipe, um, it's got a, it's got a uh, mouthpiece guard on it. So, you know, maybe if we take that off, if it will come off.
I'm just taking all this old hemp off. Let's see if this uh, mouthpiece cover is going to fit over the sleeve, which it should. Here, so I'm gonna um gonna um, hemp up this base reed. Um, sure, it fits for a better fit here. I already did the acoustic tuning test anyway, so you know it's not that big of a deal. Let's just hope the fire alarm does not go off. <laughs> what I'm doing is uh, moving the hemp so it's closer to the spool. <laughs> and then cut it off. Test the fit, and then if we're happy with it, then um, then we'll put the pipes away. You don't really need to know exactly how to hemp. As long as you have it straight and even, which I didn't know how to do until very, very recently, um, <laughs> um, pretty much set to go. This must be tapered. Oops, no, that's the tenor. <laughs> Actually, I'm finally convinced that it's the mid-chamber that causes that shitty harmonic, in my opinion.
I'm surprised how similar the harmonics are to my nails. I thought the tuning chamber harmonic would be a lot lower in pitch, but apparently not. And it kind of disappoints me because I've been looking forward to a lower tuning chamber harmonic pitch. And this is just not happening. I'm gonna try the Canning's, um, um, I'm gonna acoustically test them out with the Canning's, uh, Canning Tenors, uh, um, later. So. <laughs> I forgot to uh, zip up the Yeah, this is a brand new case anyway, so it's really difficult to uh, get, it's kind of, I'm not quite used to it yet, so, um, and um, anyway, so about those opera singers, you know, I, I both, um, I, I sent everybody, you know, an email about these new pipes, and I asked them, should I name these Joyce after... Joyce Di Donato, or should I name him Cecilia after Cecilia Bartoli? And actually, I actually heard from Griffin Hall, one of the top pipers. He actually said, how do you know Joyce? Joyce is actually my aunt. And I'm like, what? Like your aunt, the, the aunt of a famous piper is a country famous opera singer? Or country famous meaning like, you know, famous like in this country. So... The aunt of a famous piper is a country famous opera singer? That is so freaky. And then he's like, I, if I were you, I would name your pipes Joyce. And then Maria, my cousin Maria, got back to me. She's like, well, I know that Cecilia is like that classic name. And I would call your wood pipes Joyce. And then once you get the best set you want, to call that Cecilia. And so, okay, the, Joyce, okay. So I just did an acoustic tuning test of Joyce Henderson. So, there you go.